All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back to my Heartbreaker Recap Marathon. So we're going to check out another Zephyr Recap. And this is recap for Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury. First things first, I have not seen this movie, but of course, the last movie. I actually, to be honest with y'all, the only movie, Bruce Lee movie I ever recently just saw was Enter Dragon. Freaking incredible movie, by the way. But yes, Fist of Fury Recap. I'm surprised he actually did a freaking recap of a Bruce Lee movie. So I'm excited to see this one. So this one is called How Bruce Lee Single-Handedly Wiped in His Entire Dojo. So let's get straight into it, y'all. Because I don't know nothing about Fist of Fury. All I know is it's going to be another Zephyr Recap Banger. And of course, especially with Bruce Lee. You know, so yes, R.I.P. indeed. R.I.P. indeed. Him and Brandon Lee, man. Yes. So Hot Squad, without further ado, Zephyr's recap of Fist Fury starting right now. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, bro, did he just walk down slowly and down smash? <laughs> Kept the vid and original ratio of the film enjoy. Okay, cool. We're back with another episode of Squad Wiping. Y'all know what it's about. If you stand our business, we covering you. We did Omni Man last time, added it into the tier list, and we about to get <laughs> to our next candidate. I used to watch these movies back with my pops when I was a kid, which is why I have become an insane individual <laughs> that loves boxing a little too much. And this movie is the definition of squad wiping. Every <laughs> single fight that Bruce Lee is in is a group fight. We gonna get mm -hmm. into it right now. DJ, you know what time it is. So the scene starts. And we got the man, the myth, and the legend, Bruce Lee, yep. pulling up to the dojo. And he's holding this sign. The sign translates to Sick Men of Asia. It's some old history stuff about Chinese people. I'm gonna just throw a little description up on the screen, because this is important. Wait. This was during a time where Chinese and Japanese were in racial conflict in the opposite of this film. Being Japanese, he lived in the sign Sick Men of Asia. A derogatory form, a term for Chinese people to Bruce Lee. Friend, it will oh. come up later, so I better get a your welcome Zeph in the comments. He learned something new today. So now that you know the history, the mentor starts laughing once he sees the sign. And then Bruce Lee's like, I'm gonna drop whoever put this sign up, and then I'm gonna drop the rest of y'all. And my dog right here immediately takes up the challenge. He pulls up with this geeky ass haircut, and he <laughs> really thinks he can 1v1 Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? Even Bruce Lee's telling this man, you can bring your whole squad. You don't gotta do this to yourself. And he's like, it'll just take me to show ya. Dumb ass <laughs> nigga. He tries to touch Bruce Lee and he gets hit with the whole ass up for even <laughs> trying to touch the drip. Look at my dog, the black <laughs> key from head to toe. Y'all should know by now, if you are seeing anyone with an all black fit, just know they're the hardest nigga alive. Now, this man tries to sneak Bruce Lee only to get elbowed in the jewels. And he's slowly realizing he's not built for this. Bruce so Lee grabbing his face, pulling him to the side like, shh. <laughs> and then once he gets launched, this man jumps up and he jumps twice. Like, nah, I need you to jump back to your spot. I'm not trying to see that weak ass cut. My dog really got to jump on his hairline. Oh, oh, oh no. Nah. Yeah, he tries to pull up on Bruce Lee, but that, that won't don't work. No. Nope. All he can do is counter and deflect this man. He flips him over. You got my dog walking right into the lion's den, hitting the square off right in the jaw of all 50 of these students. He tries to strike, but Bruce Lee lays him out with a kick. And the moment I blink, he's already countering the next mm. student. See, it's the floor. He makes the call. Red card. It's time to jump. They immediately get the <laughs> jumping formation, and that's how I knew they studied the art of jumping. But all that stuff. Studying don't mean nothing when you're up against someone with this amount of aura. All bro had to do is put his hands up and they are all staring at him in awe. They try to jump at him and just a change of a pose got him all flinching back. And he said in this right here, I could have sworn he was going to hit the bachata. Even though they jump in, they respect the faith of a fair fight. They at least let him get comfortable. Perhaps even too comfortable because look how locked in my dog is looking. He about to eat these niggas. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's how I meant eat for breakfast. He's standing there locked in. He's got to be the two bravest kids I've done ever seen. But they are watching this man and they still struck first. They charge right at him and he gets slammed with a kick. And he's out here moving like Sanji because he's giving roundhouse kicks to all these niggas. A perfect eight piece combo, no Wendy's. Even the master had to take off his glasses. He's like, oh nah, he's cooking. And this is where they start jumping this man and Objection! I know y'all ain't even see that. Rewind no. the clip real quick. This is when I realized they not only studied the art of jumping but also the art of Sneaking. Cause yes. peep this clean ass back door he tries to pull oh. on Bruce Lee. Sneaking so good they finesse the cameraman. You gotta get the okay. angles right. And this is where Bruce Lee really starts dicing these boys up. 
himself. If he's not throwing a nigga to the trash, making him throw up yesterday's dinner. He straight up mm. slaps this man right here for no reason. And then elbows my boy in the gut. And you got Bruce Lee hitting his signature emote, screaming just like this. <laughs> He's screaming like in the middle of a fight, not crazy. And he uses him as a stepping stone to slam this other nigga. On some WWE shit. Damn. He starts tossing niggas again. Still screaming. <laughs> For what purpose? I thought I turned on Toonami or something, because, bro, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> he molding this much in a fight is crazy, but who's going to check that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That's all in there. You got it. But he was really pulling up brawling. He punched this nigga in the face. And this man wasn't even worthy of a punch. This man got backhand slapped. Mm. And I know this is Bruce Lee we're talking about, but nigga, it did not hurt this bad. I got African parents. I've been backhand slapped more than you could ever imagine. I guarantee you, you should not be rolling like this. Tee up! But well, rewind real quick, and we're gonna see Bruce Lee hit the double flex. Got the double kill and the <laughs> show off the physique. Like, who are you posing for, little bro? There was no IG back then. He was taking these flicks and sending it to his hoes through a raven. Oh, nah. This man in the all great fit really tried to come at Bruce Lee and it's like, yeah, you're not him, buddy. You're a shade off. If you were in all black, you might have cooked. Because he gets cook checked only to get uppercutted and straight mm. folded. Sleep. Damn. At this point of the fight, Bruce Lee remembers that he actually can use his hands. Because he throws him with a left, jabs this man with a right, and then gives him mm. another liver shot. And after that one, he was really feeling himself because he saw the triangle circle above his head and hit him with the Spider-Man <laughs> finisher. Doc Linden wow. flat on his ass. He didn't even deserve this. Now this is what you call a masterful squad wiping technique. Mm. Peep game. So as you can see, the entire crowd was starting to close in on him to the point where he was fighting these two at the same time. And he decides to use them as coverage to make space for himself. Mm. This is a masterful technique. The reason why most squad wipes end is because people lack the spacing. Bad example. Mm. Concrete Smith, don't let him get too close. Now look at him. Nigga pooped his pants. This is a masterful use of the spacing technique. Take notes. <laughs> that concrete Smith joke never gets old. He continues to pack him up and then he gets kicked to the corner. And whoever did this kick right here deserves all the props in the world. He is one of like three people in this entire movie that actually lands a hit on Bruce Lee. Like that is such an achievement. And look at him posing. Mm. Oh! He the only cold thing in this squad! <laughs> Bruce Lee started to get overwhelmed and he unlocked a new item in his inventory. Nunchucks. And once I saw the nunchucks, I knew it was raps because it gave me flashbacks to TMNT1. A Michelangelo oh, yeah. was cooking niggas with them nunchucks. Oh man, you know it's over. This is the most underrated weapon in the game. <laughs> they all charge at him and he's not even playing no more. He starts cracking niggas' skulls like eggs. You get yeah. back to the long shot and Bruce Lee has already wiped out two thirds of the group. He's out here checking his surroundings and he found a way to off all of them at once. He starts cracking more eggs out there like he's making an omelet <laughs> and just him shaking the nunchucks is able to get all of them off his body. They all charge at him only for him to slide cancel to the other side. And this is where he ends the battle. He starts going at their feet and they out here jumping like they just stepped on some Legos. But by using the nunchucks to immobilize them, he wipes out all of the dojo. The scene ends with everybody on the floor. While they on the floor, Pete Knuckles weak ass in the corner. He thinks we don't see him. He's trying so hard to look menacing. Get your ass to a barber, please. Who let you outside with this diabolical shape of <laughs> And then this is where the master pulls up. And everyone sits down because they think he's gonna cook up. Bruce Lee's looking at him and he's like, it's just you? I, I don't even need these anymore. And discards it from his inventory. And then posts up just like this. And the only man that I've ever seen fight with their arms crossed is Vegito. There was not one second in that entire 10 hour long ass fight that <laughs> he actually broke a sweat. So I saw that and I knew it was over. <laughs> he tries to strike only to get punted back. And then Bruce Lee hits him with a pump fake. And he's actually bouncing back. <laughs> Bruce Lee is just playing with him at this point. Look at him bouncing around. This is nothing but a warm up. Bruce Lee starts kicking this man and they start going at it a little bit only for the mentor to toss him over. And Bruce Lee flips Damn. and lands just like he a young boy oh. fan. Like, nah, Damn. don't your knees hurt? They get right back to boxing and the mentor actually gets Bruce Lee down only for Bruce Lee to trip him right after. And I'm like, oh no! Big nigga down! But once he recovers, he gets hit with a flying squirrel. And my dog's actually smoothing, okay? Only for 
for Bruce Lee to punt him in the gut. And if you fought a big man, you know the gut is the weakness. Because after this, he couldn't even keep up anymore. And to show this, we got switched to the first person angle of Bruce Lee just hammering him with kicks. The mentor tries to do a kick of his own, but... <laughs> and then Bruce Lee realizes that this is a all-you-can-eat buffet of combos. And for the next 30 seconds, that's all he does. He finally gets him to the floor, and then he puts the drip back on. Hmm. And if you remember the history that I told you about the sign, he ends the scene by telling the two top students to eat the sign, saying, this time y'all eating yeah, paper, damn. next time it's gonna be glass. Damn. And then he leaves. And that ends Exhibit A. I told you this entire movie is just the definition of squad wiping. Mm. Now look at exhibit B. So we get to the second squad wipe of the movie and he spins the block on the dojo again. He put his mentor in a spliff so he had to get his get back. But this <laughs> time it's not the whole dojo. They left just the Akatsuki. And look at them. They actually took the advice of the darker clothes. So I, I'm gonna give them the utensils. Let's see if they cook. All hmm. Bruce Lee wants here is to avenge his teacher. He literally tells them to get out and none of them moving. He says, get out again and none of them move. And Bruce Lee really started looking like an elementary school teacher where they be like, I'll wait, but nobody stops talking because nigga, we, we do, do not, not care. care. And that's exactly how they right. feel. Look at him. Bruce Lee says, get out for a third time. At hmm. this point, it's getting kind of embarrassing. embarrassing. Hmm. His words hold absolutely no weight. And Bruce Lee's like, damn, get out really don't sound that threatening. Let me try this one. Scram! <laughs> <laughs> dub over it to make it sound cool when he says it in the movie that she hard as hell now i would commentate over this part but the sound effects are so hard i'm just let it play <laughs> and then we get this man menacingly walk into the middle of the dojo and then kick this man in the gut and i'm looking at this and i'm like bro <laughs> did he just walk down slowly and down smash he's out here doing them in the worst way possible literally pokes this man's eyes Ooh. out steps on this man's Ooh. head and then kicks my boy so hard he literally got constipated that's <laughs> tough the master comes out and he sees one of his students literally getting his wrist broken hmm. i know he was screaming for all types of aid but i'm sorry you got this sorry ass of a mentor because he tries <laughs> to charge at bruce lee and look at this pose man I don't even know why this is a sensei, bro. This nigga is trash. Hmm. Don't believe me? I bet. Watch this. Because tell me why bro got hit with the pump fake again. Look at him. Clearly, even he realized he could not bounce with his hands, and he decides to whip out the blade. And that had to be the worst decision he could have ever chose. Hmm. Because even with the blade, this man still got master ultra instinct on lock Damn. and the way he finishes him off is crazy because lee kicks the hilt of the sword hits bro with an anime neck chop and then he's like Shh, it'll all be okay only for the sword to come back down and slice ooh, this ooh, man through ooh. the chest. And he Damn. thrashes him in the face to finish him Damn, off. Man. And let me remind y'all, the movie's not over. He goes up to the house of the main op he's going for. And look at this. I'm telling you, they never put this man in a 1v1 fight. Hmm. Bruce Lee's doing these niggas vile, per usual. And this man actually gets a solid hit off him, only to get hit with the light work. No hmm. reaction. Knees him right in the gut. Main ops hear all the noise and pull up to see what's going on. They're just watching Bruce Lee cook as he proceeds to hit this nigga with the 4 for 4 combo. This man charges at Bruce Lee, only to get hit with the full power Damn. punch straight to the nuts. Oh. So he can never smash ever again after this. No. So so powerful they replayed that whole three times and then we get this dude pulling up talking about some fancy seeing you here <laughs> he's out here holding them suspenders for dear life too i know he think he looks so cold with that shit on fake ad mario brother they, not this guy. they get to watch <laughs> it and they guy. actually go and hit for hit they hit this dragon ball standoff and i swear they were staring at each other for three minutes straight My kids literally grew up and graduated college and they were still staring the more time passed the zestier it got. This Why is, is Bruce Lee hitting this pose and he's talking about some? Come here, Pooh. <laughs> His opponent was disgusted because he started going crazy and lands three straight lobs on Bruce Lee. He kicks him mm. to the floor and he even mm. starts striking him while he's down. But the op gets back up. The one thing about Bruce Lee, you give him the ball even one time, he's going all the way home mm. with it. Because he started hitting it with the craziest combo known to man. It had this man oh. falling. 
dreaming. He understands <laughs> and even he realized he was cooked. Look at it. This is the face of defeat. <laughs> They're still going crazy, going hit for hit, dealing the craziest blows to each other. All the boxing Bruce Lee was doing, his special gauge charged up. And the op made a rookie mistake. He actually let Bruce Lee charge up his special move. I'm like, <sighs> I don't even know why you let him go ahead and do that, but I'm going to get the grave ready for you, bro. <laughs> Bruce Lee starts hitting this. I don't even know what to call it. We just going to let it be. It look hard. Bruce Lee <laughs> starts cooking him. Lands a straight kick to his face at him, bobbing like a bobblehead. And at this point, the up couldn't even keep up anymore. Bruce Lee was dead ass moonwalking on this nigga at this point. He ends the fight with one solid kick to the cranium. And while bro was falling over, he grabbed his head. Talking about something. Where are you going? Strikes <laughs> his neck and he goes straight to the floor. Damn. That fight was so crazy, the mentor was fearing his life. Bruce Lee follows him in there only to realize this man pulled out the blade. Even in this confined environment, he's still moving like a Weave Nation prospect. Using the environment to get the advantage, like this is high level boxing. <laughs> Bruce Lee gets pushed into a corner and then he pulls out his trap car, the nunchucks. And once I saw this, I put my hands up and I knew it was a wrap. Because if the first use of the nunchucks ain't get you already, all this is going to show you is that if you put it in the right man's hands, it is literally a sledgehammer. Like, look at how this man is moving. I would have been on my hands and knees already. And once the top up loses his sword, Bruce Lee discards the nunchucks. It's only hands now. Bruce Lee starts it off with the one-two pop combo. Hits a left break to his face and then whips him with the back. Mentor actually gets a hit in to back him up, but he jumps in the air. Bruce Lee hits him with the flying kicks straight to the neck and the Damn. top up flies out the building and this is where we hear bruce lee hit the most bone chilling battle cry and not only yep. is that how you spin back for your mans that is how you complete a squad wipe yeah <laughs> This was a masterclass, nothing short of perfection. Even his death scene in this movie is a squad wipe. It doesn't get better than this. And now we're going for the next mm. character. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna do Madara, but so many people have covered this character. I don't know if I want to do it just yet. Let me know if y'all still want it, but for now, I'm picking this guy right here. It's about to be a banger. I'm out. Okay, okay. All right. WB has that fire. Well. Looks like I'll be need to get a chance to watch this Fist of Fury with Bruce Lee, man. Bruce Lee was was definitely one of the one of the greatest one of the greatest greatest martial art actors of all time and stunt man. Like seriously, man, man, oh man. But overall, W recaps that fire. W recap. It's, it's so nice to see these recaps to you know to search new stuff. You know what I haven't seen before. So yeah, it's really nice, very nice. So Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zephyr's recap of Fist of Fury. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the button, comment, share your thoughts. What's your favorite Bruce Lee movie? What Bruce Lee movies do you want me to check out besides Extra Dragon, of course, I've seen that. And yeah, overall, this was a W recap, Zephyr. Keep it a great work. So Hot Squad, I am continuing my Hot Banger recap marathon with Casper's Captain American Winter Soldier recap. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>